What's up everyone? This is your boy Malik aka Kingdom Breaker and I'm back with another video. As you can see in the title below, this is my come out story. So stay tuned and I'll be right back because we finna get into this video. You already know what I mean, you know, I already know, know what I mean. <laughs> Alright man. Cute intro. I'm back. So, if this is really my coming out story, okay? Um, I'm gonna start from the whole beginning. So, I was five years old when I felt like that. I was interested in men, but at the time I didn't know what gay was, bro. So, I used to go on to watch TV, you know, like have more cartoons or whatever, wake up, watch cartoons, then uh commercial come on and these men come on I'll be like oh okay nah they looking good and they suits and stuff you know what mm, yeah but i didn't know what it was so i like i brushed this side and stuff then i got older and stuff and then i have two older brothers and well one one is close to me aged by like three years and one older than me by like 10. So, they was watching porn and whatever and stuff, and they were telling me, pay attention, you might learn something. But they were paying attention to the whole stuff. I was just paying attention to the man, because, you know, yeah. But, yeah, I was paying attention to the boy. So, sorry for me looking at Easy Fit. Stuff out here just kind of... <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, like I said, I pay attention to the band. I wasn't paying attention to really nothing else and stuff. So I was sad. And then they were telling me that you should go with girls. I grew up in church and whatever. Tell my, oh, that's a sin. I learned about sins and stuff and whatever. And I was like, oh my God, this is wrong. I'm like this, I'm like that. So I didn't want to mess with the boys. So as Fifth grade, I got my first girlfriend and whatever. We were hanging out and stuff and whatever. So we went with each other for about uh, a couple months, broke it off because I wasn't feeling it. And I still noticed that I didn't like girls and whatever. And then got my second girlfriend, sixth grade. We dated for about two, almost two years. It was like an on and off stuff and whatever. We broke it off because he moved and whatever and jumped. So, Got another girlfriend, eighth grade year. They fought for three years. Broke up because this is where the climax comes. Okay, so I was pretty much fighting my demons because I knew I was gay, but I'll be disappointed that everybody knew, you know, this, that, and stuff. So I pretty much was holding in anger from the age of five till 16 years old so pretty much going around with girlfriend and stuff and whatever then i broke down to one of my good friends my currently niece by marriage so i told her that i liked it men and stuff and whatever and she both are crying so i you don't need to feel that way and stuff so me and her were talking and stuff and talking about so what you should do so we were pretty much like, I, don't, I just don't care anymore. So, this is where it happens. I told my girlfriend that we need to break up. She asked why, because I like men. And she got mad at me and stuff, and we stopped texting for about a week. And then, she came to me a week later talking about, Oh, I feel your pain that I'm gay too. <laughs> Then why you got mad at me? Like, come on, why you got mad at me for a week and you is too? I didn't, I didn't get that. So she was just commenting to my how you so strong, how you came to me and stuff and whatever. So <clears throat> we don't talk like that anymore. After that predicament, so I told her, and then a few days later, I went to my auntie's. Um. 
ass. But uh, I went to um, my auntie's wedding reunion and stuff. And we just having a good old time and stuff. It was just me, my mama, and my oldest brother and stuff. And I seen my cousins. They are also gay. One are also gay. And I see one of my friends who is also gay. They girls. And so they are still in They are here with their girlfriends and stuff. And I was like, okay, now, nah, bitch. Yeah. Y'all doing it. Y'all do y'all thing and stuff. But I got so jealous that they can live their lives where I hide it in fear. And I'm just around here like, I can't even go around being happy. Like, you know? So after I got home from the party and stuff, so. I talked to my mom in private and I almost started crying. I said, Mama, I gotta tell you something. She said, What? What, baby? He's talking about, um, you probably ain't gonna like me. You probably ain't gonna like me. She told me that she'll never stop loving me in any kind of way. And I told her that I was gay and she told me that she always knew. <laughs> How? So she told me that. You always hung out with your girl cousin and your boy cousin like that. And then you watched it. You always just to look at boys, really. I could see you like boys and stuff. So I said, okay, well, well, at least you knew. So ain't no problem there. So then I went one by one, telling my friends at school and whatever, told people that I knew I could trust with the secret before I like go worldwide and stuff. So I told some friends and then I told my brother, I told my sister-in-law, her daughters, which are my currently nieces and stuff. And then I told my middle brother and stuff. He was pissed off because he was like, oh, no, nah, I can't deal with that and stuff. And then he talked to my mama was talking about, well, you can't do nothing about his boy's life. He's a good person and stuff and all that. I said, I'm still the same same way, not to change and whatever, just my sexuality. So, you know, he calmed down, he told me, I still love you, bro, and whatever. And then my older brother, I didn't tell my oldest brother. He found out by my mama and everybody else in the house. So I was like, okay. And then he came to me talking about, why didn't you tell me? And I told you, you're not really the easiest person to tell stuff like that to. So he was like, dang, I feel this, I feel bad. And so I said, he told me, well, I still love you, bro, and stuff. And then once everybody in my household knew about me, that's when I went straight worldwide. So I went to Facebook, I went to Instagram, and I went to Snapchat. I came out in the year 2016. And no? Yeah, 2016, December 2016. It was, I was during Christmas break, I came out on, on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I came out everywhere and stuff. And then me, I was like, people gonna say that stuff. People gonna talk about me. I don't care, I'm old enough. I don't care about that, I don't care. They either gonna like me, they gonna leave me. I don't need negative stuff around me. So I went back, I got so many positive feedback. I was so surprised like I couldn't believe that and stuff and it just made me so happy and stuff that people didn't care who I was and stuff and just love me for who I was it didn't care I did this cuz even though I like boys I still at the same I'm still boys you no know, Rest out every damn day, you know, and stuff, do boy stuff and all that. But there ain't nothing changed. So that's that's really it. Then people talk I got new friends from this. I lost a couple friends from it, but whatever. They moved, so I don't care. <laughs> and whatever. And that's really about it. That's really my coming out story and stuff. It just taught me lessons that don't care what nobody says. Live your life for you. They're not living your life. Be your own person. Because one thing is, like I said, they're not living your life. you living yours. And one thing is, if they bring up the Bible, tell them this. God loves you no matter what. No matter what you do or how you do it, you are still God's child.
He love you no matter what. He know how you are gonna turn out. He know this. <laughs> Oof, excuse me, but <sighs> there was a wasp where I met, but <laughs> continue on the story. Just be you, be you. I'm sorry, I'm jumping a lot. This is like a lot of bugs and I don't deal with fucking bugs. I don't want to, but be you, cause only you can be you. No? I'm just saying this real. They gonna love you or they gonna hate you. You don't need negative people in your life. Just let it go. I'm I'm telling you the straight truth. Let it go. But that pretty much is the end of my coming out story, you know. And I just really hope this helped because I know people who've been in my predicament and stuff and probably ain't as strong as I am to do this but I hope this least help you know and whatever so this is it guys you know like comment subscribe comment anything that you want me to answer and I get right back to you as soon as I can you know my social media is being below if you want to contact me you know <laughs> But yeah, social media is going to be in the description below. And you can contact me on any one of them. And um, please send me questions because I want to do a Q&A video. But so far, I haven't been getting any type of questions. So if you comment below or send me questions on my social media, I will get back to it and I'll make a Q&A video. But to wrap up the video... Just be you, love yourself, and one thing is, keep the negativity out. This is your boy, Lee, aka Kingdom Breaker, and I am signing off, man.